We're going to talk about how to build a, a profitable online business. But uh, the most important thing you can do is work on yourself, right? You got to grow yourself. If you want to grow your business, grow your following, grow your bank account. Welcome to the My Lifestyle Academy podcast. You are tuning into the best content to grow your home business, leveraging the power of social media so you can create a life on your own terms. I am your host, John Melton. And I'm your co-host, Nadia Melton. Today, we are top 100 income earners in the network marketing profession. We help network marketers just like you go from average to savage, baby. Each week, we bring you the newest and best strategies to generate more leads, more sales, build a bigger, better team using duplicatable strategies. We hope you're ready. Let's get to the show. For me, I was burnt out on doing the offline stuff. So I really wanted to learn the online stuff. I wanted to learn how to build a business from home. And the only way to build a business from home was online. So we started doing videos. We started putting out content. I didn't really know what the heck I was doing. How many of you can relate to this? You start showing up on camera and we're all our own worst critic. Like now I can actually listen to myself and I'm like, you know, I think I'm pretty good. I think I'm decent to listen to, but Back in the day when I first started recording videos, like I would cringe, like it was just, it was so painful to watch myself and listen to myself. I did it anyway because I was sick and tired of chasing the business. I wanted the business to chase me. I wanted to master attraction marketing. I wanted to build a personal brand. And here's the thing that people don't talk about a whole lot, at least not in network marketing, the beauty of building your own community your own following of people that know you, like you, trust you, they relate to you, they look at you for expertise, for inspiration. You can create multiple income streams. This is why it's so important for you to master marketing. This is why it's so important for you to learn how to show up with valuable content. And again, when I was new to this whole thing, I was, I was just like fumbling and bumbling through my words, which I still do sometimes, who cares? You wanna say to yourself, okay, like, what am I good at? What do I love? What are my passions? What are my interests? What can I help people with? What am I learning? What are the things I'm passionate about? What do I love to talk about? And you could start showing up with content geared towards, you know, fitness, weight loss, uh, mindset, philosophy, business tips, social media tips, storytelling, parenting advice, whatever it is, whatever it is. Figure out your thing or things, the things you love, and you start showing up every day. And it's not just to sell and promote your products, but that needs to be a part of it. You know, typically the people that struggle in their network marketing business, typically the people that struggle with sales, they struggle with recruiting, they struggle with building their business, rank advancing, earning profits, they either never promote their opportunity. Nobody knows what the heck you're doing. And I get the whole like lead with value, lead with you because people will buy from you and join you. But if they don't know what you do, they don't know what company you're a part of. They don't know what product you're selling. How in the world, how in the world are they going to buy from you? How are they going to join the team that they don't know you're building? In fact, write this down. And I still believe this today. The 80-20 rule, 80% 80 of the time there should be value, but there should be some curiosity there should be some lead capturing, whether you have a, a text message funnel, an email funnel, a Facebook group, maybe your call to action in your videos is just, hey, shoot me a message, shoot me a DM, drop an emoji if you see this, this story or you see this post. Does that make sense? Like you need to figure out a way to generate leads and create conversations. Now, in addition to mastering marketing, you also want to become a great prospector. You want to be proactive in your reach outs. I would create a schedule every day. You sit down for two hours or an hour, whatever it is, and you're intentional with your time. Maybe you go live. Maybe you record some TikToks, right? Maybe you're uh, proactively reaching out to people. I'm sure a lot of you have seen our fame formula. We teach this power hour where 15 minutes you follow up, 15 minutes you ATM your face off, 15 minutes you do some marketing, some content, maybe it's a post, maybe it's some, some short form videos, maybe it's a live video, whatever that looks like. The E is expanding your network, right? Connecting with people, commenting on other people's uh, posts, going into the Facebook groups you're a part of and, and just engaging and making friends. Always 
meeting new people every single day. I'm reaching out to followers or my VA is reaching out to followers, right? Every single day, I'm wishing happy birthdays. Every single day, I'm responding to people's stories. I'm commenting on people's posts. Every single day, my, my goal is to connect or reconnect with new people that I haven't talked to either ever or just in a very long time. Every single day, I do this. Now, maybe you might say, well, even on Saturday and Sunday, listen, I've been doing this for over 20 years. So maybe not as much on the weekends, definitely not in the evenings, right? Because I work my business full time so I can get a lot done during the day. But my mindset has always been outgrow your competition, meaning grow yourself, outwork your competition, provide more value than your competition. Like I still do live videos, at least when I'm home, maybe not when I'm traveling, but when I'm home, I still do, you know, three, four live videos a week. We post every single day on our platforms. Do you have to do that? No, let me be clear. You don't have to do any of the things I'm suggesting, but I'm just saying that the way I've always looked at it is if I'm not connecting with people, if I'm not putting out content, if I'm not growing myself, well, my competition is. So every day that I'm not doing these things, it's not like everybody else is relaxing. Everyone else is chilling when I'm chilling. The, the competition is still out there doing their thing, whether I'm doing it or not. So I don't know, that always lit a fire under me. Here's the other thing. How many of you have seen people that you know join other network marketing companies? How many of you have seen people that you know join the network marketing company you're in? So that always creates FOMO in me too, because there might be someone that I was kind of friends with, but I hadn't like talked to them in a while, haven't followed up with them in a while. And then I see them launching a new business and I'm like, dang it. Like that, they could have been on my team, but I didn't stay in touch with them. I didn't build a good enough relationship with them. They didn't trust me enough or know me well enough or even knew I existed to reach out to me and take a look at my opportunity. And instead they're in someone else's team, someone else's organization. So that's why for me, it was like, I wanna show up every day with value. I wanna share my story. I wanna share tips. I wanna to learn to brand me, not the company. I love the company. Like I said, you should be promoting it at least 10 to 20% of the time, especially in your stories. You could realistically promote your products or opportunity every day in your stories. Because if you're following the 80 20 rule on your, on your, uh, like primary posts, like your, your public posts in your newsfeed, your Instagram, whatever it is, right? 80% of the time, your posts should be value, whether it's videos, whether it's posts, whatever it is. And then you can sprinkle in your opportunity. You can sprinkle in your company throughout that, that content throughout the week, but in your stories, if you're following the 80-20 rule, you could do that daily because those are people that are already following you. People are not gonna discover you through your stories. These are people already following you. It's a great way to build a deeper connection. But like I said, you also have to be proactive. So you responding to other people's stories is a great way to interact with people. I love that so many people post stories now because I love responding to stories anyway. I love connecting with people. I love relationship building. So I'm always responding to people's stories. It's another way you can also get in someone's inbox without just reaching out and go, hey, how's it going, Sam? So do you see my mindset and all the little nuances, the little things that I do? And these are things that I've been doing for years and years and years, especially when I became very intentional. The little bit of time you have, especially if you have a full-time job or a full-time business. And I always tell people, because they'll say, well, if I was full-time, I could do everything you're doing, John. If I was full-time this, if I was full-time that, it's not true. If you can't build your business part-time, you have no business building it full-time. Because think about it, most of the people that join your team are going to be part-time. Most of the people within your organization are gonna be part-timers, spare-timers. So this is why you need to get serious. You need to create a schedule. You need to have, you need to have that clarity. You wanna be a content creator and a conversation starter, a great connector. I love all these C words. <laughs> this is just so, so important. And by the way, I also said some of you, you never promote or mention your products or opportunity. And then some of you, it's too much. Every post, every video, every TikTok, every reel is selling, 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 selling. Now, let me say this. If it's working for you, keep doing it. If it's working for you, keep doing it. But what I find is that the people that sell all the time and show up as an infomercial typically don't build a deep connection. Like people don't trust you as much when you're always selling. Now, it's interesting because over the last couple of years, TikToks and Reels that have gone viral are, a lot of those videos are the ones where you're selling and promoting your products. So I get that, I get that, but 
Still, if you look at the biggest influencers on any platform, what do they mostly do? They mostly lead with value. They mostly lead with storytelling, inspiration, entertainment. They've got a great sense of humor, whatever it is, right? It's, it's mostly value. And then they sprinkle in, you know, affiliate products, things that they're promoting, things that they're selling personally. Maybe they build a fashion blog. Maybe they're uh, a gamer, right? Whatever it is. And then they have things that they promote to their audience to monetize. And look, some people get paid by the platform itself. If you learn to build a brand and you learn how to market and you learn how to communicate effectively on camera, or even, look, even if you don't like doing video, maybe you start a podcast, maybe you use Clubhouse, figure out what works best for you and how you can connect with people and how you can mentor people and how you can serve and help people. And when I started showing up in that way, everything changed for me. Now, it didn't happen overnight, but within 2013, 2013, 14, 15, we got so good at marketing and we got so good at showing up that it became a part of our daily routine. And we built those relationships on the back end. And that's something that's not talked about enough. Those one-on-one -on -one conversations, those one-on-one -on -one interactions that you have with people, like that's where the magic happens. Because when people feel like they know you and they trust you, when they are looking for something, and or maybe, maybe they just happen to come across your story, they happen to come across one of your posts or one of your videos, and it just hits them at the right time. The stars align and now they're on your team. They're, I mean, listen, imagine every single week, this is what happens to me. Imagine every single week you have experienced network marketing leaders in your inbox. First of all, how would they even know you exist if you're not showing up, if you're not posting value? And number two, how can they see you as an expert or someone that can help them and their team if they don't see you out there creating results? Now you might say, well, John, that's a catch 22. That's a catch 22 because in order for me to get results, I need to recruit them. Not true. I didn't recruit network marketing leaders until I was extremely successful in network marketing, like at least consistently, like back in the heyday, back before I was using social media, most of the people I recruited were people that had never done network marketing before people that were brand new to network marketing, or maybe they had done it before, but they hadn't made any money, but we all start somewhere. So you have to think like, how can I make an impact and not just an income? You're building a legacy for your children's children. Like freaking act like it. Like realize what you have your hands on. It's not going to happen overnight. You have to play that long game. But those relationships you're building, those seeds you're planting, the content, the value, the relationships, like all those things pay off eventually. Like if you haven't gone viral, you haven't gone viral yet. And by the way, you don't need to go viral to build a profitable business. I'm just saying. If you're not good at promoting the products, you're not good at Instagram stories, or you're not good at Facebook Live, or you're not good at selling, prospecting, whatever it is, you're not good at these things yet. That's why you're watching this. That's why you need to grow yourself. That's why you need to do the personal development every single day. And by the way, you need to find a mentor. Your mentor doesn't have to be your direct upline either. Your mentor could be someone in the upline, someone two, three, four, five levels removed from you. You want to get your mentor's attention. You want to get on their radar. How do you get on their radar? You're putting them in group chats. You're introducing them to prospects. You're rank advancing. You're ATMing your face off. You're leading by example. You're doing the things you want your team to do. You're engaging in the team chats. You're recognizing people on your team. You're posting value in the team chats. You're posting value in the, in the, the team Facebook group or in the ATM groups. You're becoming a part of the community. You're becoming a leader, a visible leader. People partner with people with vision. People join people with passion, with excitement, enthusiasm. <laughs> people follow strength, not weakness. So if you're showing up every single day with excitement, sometimes, listen, I don't like fake it till you make it. I like saying faith it till you make it or face it till you make it. But I do think sometimes, even when you're not feeling real inspired, you're not feeling real excited, it's the middle of the summer, or it's the holidays, or maybe you just had someone quit your team, you're feeling a little discouraged, that's a time to double down. Now, I do think there's times where, you know, there's seasons, if you will, where you take a step back and, you know, you take some time off, you take the weekend off, or you go on a vacation, whatever that looks like. But you're not always going to feel like showing up. You can't just show up when you feel like it. 
Because your goals and your dreams don't care about your feelings and your feelings don't care about your dreams and your goals. If you use what I'm teaching you, if you learn how to market yourself on social media, you learn how to build a community, a following, you learn how to show up every single freaking day. Even when you don't feel like it, you could build something that could stand the test of time. So even if one day, God forbid, you can't work, you still get paid. All your bills are covered. You can buy the dream home. You can buy the boat, pay off the debts, travel the world, whatever your goals and dreams are, make a freaking vision board and get after it. You don't feel like it. That's some, that's some BS. It's not, you can't be excited when something happens. You have to be excited so that it happens. Would you be excited if I was on your team? Of course you would, but what a joke. You're not gonna get someone like me on your team if you're not excited prior to meeting me, right? I'm just trying to get you to think differently because excitement is contagious. Sometimes people say, John, I am excited. Tell your face, <laughs> tell your voice. Oh, so anyway, you need to plug in as much as possible. You need to plug in. Listen, we have a Saturday call every single Saturday. And I can guarantee a lot of the top earners, they're listening to that Saturday call. They are committed to listening to that call because that's either how they became a top earner or they want to become a top earner. Stop taking the trainings for granted. Stop taking your upline for granted. Stop taking your opportunity for granted. You have something that could legitimately change your life forever, forever. Same with your children and your children's children. Like, like really think about that. If that doesn't motivate you every day, I don't know what will, but sometimes I think we lack the belief in ourselves. We forget our purpose. We're trying to, we're trying to post just to make money. We're trying to connect with people just to make money. And when you show up with that commission breath, with an agenda, you're not going to get the best responses versus showing up authentically without an addiction to the outcome. You guys want to know the real deal? Again, I told you I'd give you the real deal. The real deal is you need to be recruiting. If your business isn't where you want it to be, I love selling. I love that you can make money and even a full-time income selling products. But if you are not recruiting, you are missing the boat. Recruiting is the number one thing you need to do to build a significant business. That is just the deal. You have to find and identify people that want it as bad as you do. Here's what you're looking for. People with whip, work ethic, hunger, integrity, and personal power. Work ethic, hunger, integrity, personal power, W-H-I-P. How many of you know Tony Robbins? How many of you know Dean uh, Graziosi? I can never say his name perfectly. They're doing a free five-day challenge to talk about uh, monetizing and optimizing your social media and building a following and business practices and mindset. It's gonna be ridiculously good. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's five days in a row. Starts every day at 2 p.m. Eastern. It's completely free, free 99. There is a VIP option. And actually we did do the upgrade, the upgrade options, uh, but it's free to just get in the Facebook group and watch this. It's a five day thrive challenge. Russell Brunson, some other like really epic, like you know, thought leaders, Brendan Bouchard, one of my favorites are all going to be a part of it. To register, you go to mylifestyleacademy.com forward slash thrive, mylifestyleacademy.com forward slash thrive. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I know it got me fired up. Hope it got you fired up and excited to go out there and implement and execute some of what we talked about. Now listen, if you want more content just like this, number one, subscribe to our podcast, but also head over to our website, mylifestyleacademy.com for more awesome content. And if you could, leave a review. Here's why. Number one, it helps us get our message out to more people. But number two, we randomly pick people and just give them free stuff. That's how we are. We love to be ultra generous with our audience, with anyone that's sharing our stuff, supporting the show, leaving a review. We appreciate you. Go out there and crush. Till next time.